Today we're going to learn how to make this wonderful baby bouquet as a gift. Stay tuned. <laughs> Hi, you're here on Just Maria D. It is indeed Maria D. And today I'm making this baby bouquet. I had the wonderful pleasure of having to go baby shopping. I haven't been baby shopping for years. I went and I bought things like booties and baby grows and bibs and hats. And I am making this wonderful bouquet of baby goodies to give to Joey's drama teacher. Now just hang on a minute, this isn't just from me, it is from our drama group because she's going off to have a baby and we thought that we would gift her this present. I'm the one making it but it's from a whole group of us. So what I've done here is essentially just fiddled with each of the garments, rolled them onto a skewer and secured them with an elastic band. I've tried to make them look as rose-like or as flower-like as I possibly can. Now, this is going to be done really according to the individual's taste. I don't believe that there's any better way of doing this with a particular garment. I really do think that this is a trial and error thing. The way I learned to do this was by watching somebody do a YouTube video. So it's not like, you know, I'm any kind of world expert. I just thought that I would have a go having seen them advertised and thought that I might like to try and do it. So the best way to learn something is to have a go. We know this through my cooking, don't we? So it's just like this. Some of the garments I had to try several different ways to roll. Some of it was quite trial and error. So don't be down on yourself if you have to give a particular garment several tries to try and get it looking more flower like. Now I do recommend having good strong elastic bands trying to tuck in things like press studs so that when we make it into a bouquet that they're unseen. As you can see we have gone for a black, white and grey and yellow colour scheme. We don't know the gender of this beautiful little baby to be born and it is really hard to get gender neutral clothes in the UK, at least in the myriad of stores that I went shopping in anyway. Come on baby clothes designers, lift your game. We need some more gender neutral clothes that aren't just white, grey, black and yellow. And it wasn't like there was even loads of yellow, like it was really hard to even find something like a yellow sock that wasn't teamed with pink. So yeah, I, I, I would be frustrated if I was a parent at the moment trying to find gender neutral clothes, to be honest. And even if you do like gender stereotypes when it comes to clothes, if you're preparing for a baby and you don't know what gender it is, you just, you, you know, you want to buy things that both boys and girls can wear. Now the next phase of this journey is to take some plastic leaves. I've used plastic eucalyptus leaves. I have some green florist tape and I am wrapping that around both the stem of the eucalyptus leaf and the skewer giving it a good old twirly whirl to secure it in place. As you can see in the background I have a good pile of them already started and, and in actual fact I'm almost finished this part of the process. The idea is to try and place these leaves in a way that you might like them to sprout up from your bouquet. So do think about how long they are, think about how bushy they are, think about the overall effect that it's going to have when that is added to your bouquet. Now when you've done that you start to do the same thing but adding several of them together. I have taken this in stages, I have added a few and then florist tape them and then added a few more and then florist tape those just so that I can really work on the placement of each individual flower as well as making sure that it is secure. You may also want to think about where you put your colours to make sure that you have equidescent placement of colours within your bouquet so you haven't got all the yellow or all the green or, or all the heliotrope in one corner of your bouquet. Think of it in the same way that you would if you were arranging flowers, not baby grows, hats, bibs and socks. <laughs> Just to make it difficult. I wasn't there on the day that they presented the drama teacher with the bouquet because Joey and I were off at circus camp of all places but I believe it was a now what I'm trying to do here is with my crepe paper 
just trying to work out exactly where I'm going to position it, how it's going to look and what the overall effect is going to be. Now you will notice that I had bound all the rest of the skewers with the florist tape. That was just so it all held together when we got to this phase. Once I have positioned the crepe paper, I am now working with the outer color wrapper to fold it and make sure that it goes on neatly. There was a lot of folding involved here, a lot of sizing and working out what to do. I have chosen a yellow and gray ribbon to go around the bouquet. I'm really happy with the way it turned out. This is the first time I have done this and I've seen them given as gifts and I thought it'd be a really great thing to try. I really liked the idea that there was a little bit more value for money and longevity in this particular bouquet over flowers. So here we have it, my beautiful bouquet i hope you've enjoyed please feel free to ask any questions i have been maria you have been awesome and i'll catch you on the flip side bye